In this video, I'm going to give you a general introduction to VoiceThread and accessing it and some of its main features. The first step is to find where the VoiceThread is in the class. I've added this one right at the top, but you might actually have to go into a module to find it. It will often be called VoiceThread or have some sort of icon here, but you just click it to open it. Now, you'll either have this as a pop-up if it is a graded assignment, which this is, or it will take you straight in. But if you have this as a possibility, you just click launch. This can take a little bit. Often it takes longer if it's your first time into it, or if you just have a lag. Certain browsers tend to work better with it. I would strongly suggest if you're using Internet Explorer that you, one, stop using Internet Explorer, but it's not going to work well with VoiceThread. Firefox and Chrome seem to have a, a lot of luck with that. Okay, so kind of the main features of this, you'll see that there's a thread at the bottom with different posts. Most of them are me just kind of putting up posts so you get this idea of a thread. And they give timestamps, how long they are, things like that. If you have a, a picture in your profile, it'll show that. Otherwise, it's going to show your first and last initial. You can also see the same thing in this side menu. And you can get more information if you click the pop out arrow here. You can search people that way. You can see more information there. Some of the really helpful things for if you're creating them are kind of the times associated with it. It's not uncommon for instructors to have specific time links that they're looking for. And that can let you know. I'll go over in a separate video how to actually post comments. And if you're wanting that here, it'll, it'll be in another one. Okay, so there's also the option to over here to zoom, make this bigger or smaller. There are not multiple slides, but this is what you would use if there was. VoiceThread had multiple slides you would click over. You could also click here to show all slides, and it's just going to show you that there's one, but otherwise it would show you multiple. And a couple other features. One is the turning on and off closed captioned up here. Not sure why it's not popping up that menu for us. But when it does, it just says on off and it's, it's pretty straightforward. And then there's also the ability to comment and reply. Down here is the comment area. And if you have a video or audio over here, reply here. And I will go into much greater depth on how to do that in separate videos. But that's kind of the main features of anything that you will use in VoiceThread.